Okay. Uh, the previous uh, um, condition that we were talking about the transient was uh, when we were thinking about right after we open the uh, key or right after we close the key. So there is a sudden change um, in, in the in the current or voltage. Either it's going to be it's going to be sudden rise or it's going to be sudden drop in the voltage or current. And we, we looked at uh, during that uh, transient time what happened if you have only capacitor in the system. Um, uh, before, uh, also we're gonna later look uh, into transient condition, uh, what happened if we have the inductor in the system? What happened if we have the sudden rise or drop in, in the system with the inductor? But before more to that, uh, I want to talk about another condition, which is going to be the steady state condition. What if we are not uh, interested in the short term transient condition? We only uh, interested in the long term steady state condition. Um, as I said, uh, for example, up to this point was that the transient only reflect when we have the sudden change, when we close or open key right after that, and then we get to the steady state condition. Uh, in most cases, and remember, whatever we have done in the chapter uh, one, two, and three, it was the same thing. We were only looking at the, the DC sources with a steady state condition. We assume everything is a steady state. There is no uh, sharp uh, rise or drop in, in the voltage or current. When we, are, when we have these kind of things that, remember, we have two... Uh, uh, we talked about them before. Uh, <clears throat> for for the capacitor, uh, when we have the cap uh, have a capacitor connected to the source, and if uh, it's going to be connected for a very long time, um, so <clears throat> I put so. And there's a source and there's a uh, VC and then we know that it's gonna be if we close it. So if we close that key and leave it closed for a long time. So we close it at T zero and leave it there to be closed for a long time. We know that eventually the capacitor is start to uh, fully charge and then the uh, uh, what was that there? Current in that for the capacitor was C and then the VC over DT. This is the equation we had for the I. So if I get to the steady state condition, it means that I close the key and leave it to be um, uh, closed for a long time. I mean, and when, when I'm saying the long time in case of the the speed of the uh, what's happening in the circuit. So if it's, it's, it's closed for a long time, eventually the VC become equal to voltage, for example, and VS, and there's not gonna be any current goes through that because the change in the V is gonna be constant. The V becomes constant. There's no more change in the V. Since there is no more, in other words, uh, if, we see is constant. Uh, then I through that, uh, I would call it C, the I go, go through that C becomes zero. So if the I going through that is zero, if the, what, what does it mean if we have a wire that there is no current goes through that? If we have the wire that's not, is no current goes through that, it behave like a open circuit. It's like that it is not there because it doesn't go there. So it behave, uh, it's, it's gonna be like, or it become, I would say, <clears throat> you know, can replace it with the open circuit. So it behave as, open circuit. 
the behavior is the same as I go ahead and cut that wire. Because it doesn't let any current goes through. It doesn't matter if I have that or I just cut it there. So I can go ahead for if if it stays closed for a very long time, the key, I can go ahead and replace that uh, capacitor with the open wire. In other words, I can just remove it uh, from that uh, circuit, assume it, assume it is not there. Um, so the same if uh, the same if I have the uh, inductor in the system. If I go ahead and assume that I have again the sources, uh, I have a key, and there is a inductor in the system, and uh, I know that uh, the uh, the voltage is going to be VL. So if I go, I close the key at T0. I close the key and let it just sit there for a while. Uh, I know the voltage in that, the, the VL is going to be the L uh, and it's going to be DIL divided by divided DT. And if and I know if I L is going to be constant, then V L is going to be zero. So if if it's a stay in the con, uh, steady state condition, means that the I is not going to change. If it's a steady state condition. That's what I did for the DC. It means the I is not going to change. If the I is not going to change, so the voltage in that um, uh, um, inductance becomes zero. When the voltage is becomes zero, it behaves like a single wire. That's where we have the voltage is zero. So it behaves as short circuit. In other words, if it's going to be in the steady state condition, I can just replace this with a single wire. So just remove it and replace it with a single wire. So in other words, if I have the steady state condition um, sources in my system or current in my system, everything is a steady state and nothing changing. There is no changes in the system at all. I can replace the capacitor with the open circuit, basically just remove it. I can remove it with the open wire. And I can remove the uh, inductance and replace it with the uh, with just the wire. That if we interested with the steady state condition. Um, that's how it works. So I can, uh, I will go ahead and show um, an example to see how it actually um, uh, works. So assume we have a circuit like this. It's connected to the 10 volt battery. <clears throat> then there is a key here. And then there is a one resistance here is going to be R1 is going to be 5 oh. And then we have an inductance. It's going to be um, going to be L and it's going to be 1 Henry's. And then going to be connected to a capacitor. It's going to be like that. Uh, so it's going to be a C. It's going to be 10 microfarad. And then there's going to be a second resistance here. 
So it's going to be R2. Second resistance is going to be 5 volt. And so assume this is the circuit we have, and then at time t equal to zero, I'll go ahead and uh, close that key. So at time equal to zero. I close the key and I want to <clears throat> see what's happening here. So assume I close the key, but this time I'm not interested in what's happening right after I close the key. Assume I close the key, I, I leave it there um, to everything become a steady state. And after that, uh, I, uh, I'm interested to see what's happening. So if I wait enough that it become a steady state condition, and only see the steady state condition. This, um, uh, so become this. So uh, uh, for steady state condition, I can replace this one with, with this. So the source is gonna stay the source. Um, so let me draw it down here. Yeah. So here, for steady state, condition. So this will be converted to this. So I have the 10 volt, the 10 volts will be stated where it is. So it's going to be the 10 volt. Then I have the key, which is closed. Then I have the R1. Gonna be the R1. And then for if I leave it long enough open, I can replace the inductant with the closed circuit or with a single wire. So I'm go ahead and just replace that L1 with a single wire. So if I come here and say this point here is A. And this point is B. So I just replace A and B with a single wire. And then I go ahead and assume this is going to be the point C and it's going to be point D. So again, if I leave that open enough for a long time, the, the capacitor behave as an open circuit. So I'm going to replace that with the open circuit. So it's gonna be there. So that is also it's gonna be the point D. It's gonna be like that. So it's gonna be the open circuit. And then I have the R2. So it's gonna be the R2. So that will become this. If it's gonna be for the steady state condition, the, whatever I have here, that I replace the inductor with a single wire and I replace the uh, capacitor with the open circuit. So it's nothing. And the reason is that after a long time, the inductor just behave like a single wire. It doesn't do anything except that it uh, already stored some electromagnetic field energy in that, but for a long time, other than that, it just behaves like a single wire. And the capacitor, it behaves like an open circuit, except that it uh, uh, already uh, stores some electrical charge in that. Other than that, it just doesn't uh, let the current go through. So it behaves like that. And then we have this circuit. And we, if we want to solve it, so this is the circuit we want to solve. So we have 
uh, simply for the steady state condition, we have two resistance um, uh, connected to uh, 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 the sources. So it's very, it becomes uh, a very uh, uh, simple uh, condition, and then you can solve it for, um, for example, the current or voltage or anything that we need to do, um, because they're just uh, a simple source with R1 is in series with R2. As simple as that, you can simply just read the right as something like that. So the 10 volt. Uh, <clears throat> gonna be the R1. And then it's gonna be R2. And that's so we can eventually for the steady state can change this and we can simply solve it for voltage or current or anything that you need in that circuit. 